Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Saturday, July 15th, 2017. The tarot card for today is the Five of Swords. You know, this is a, a very powerful card in its meaning and in its interpretation. And I think it's one that we all need to assess ourselves from time to time. Uh, I'm reminded of a story that I'm even hesitant to repeat because I don't like to think of this particular person. But years ago, I had a boyfriend and he was definitely, um, he ranks number one as the all time, you know, let's just say jerk. Okay, so, you know, here's the thing. He would occasionally it, try to bait me into arguments and I just never, I just like, I was always totally aloof about it and just let it go. And the f funny thing is, is that what he would never get, and he actually said something to me once. He's like, I can never argue with you. And, you know, it's like, he didn't get it. It wasn't worth my time. You know, it wasn't that I, I was, you know, like all with every ounce of my being trying to avoid conflict with him. It's just that I knew better. I knew the value of things in life. And it was amazing to me because being a part of my life, if you knew what my life was like, you would understand that time is the most important thing we've been given. And to engage in senseless battles just makes no sense at all. So something tells me that today, that it may be necessary to just take the high road, all right? There, there is nothing gained by engaging with someone, all right? Because very often, even if you feel like you've won today, the, the th question I would have is, at what cost? What did you really win? What did you really gain? Very often you lose more and that victory is kind of a little bit bittersweet. You know, not necessarily, you know, it doesn't mean much you know, when you win something and you feel all smug about it. Because very often, you know, especially when you take a good look at many Five of Swords cards, you'll see that the other people who have supposedly lost are all walking away together in a group. And they have each other. And you're standing there alone. You know, you know the saying, it's lonely at the top. And keep that in mind, all right? Sometimes, and uh, you know, I, I could start talking about some other things here too, uh, but I won't. There are people out there who want to be at the top, want to be ahead at all costs. But what happens is that, you know, they lose the respect of everyone else, you know, by wanting to be the winner. What are you really winning? You know, stop and think about that. Enjoy your life. It's not this huge competition. Whatever's going on, you don't need to be a part of someone else's drama. You know, this is this is a this is like a just, you know, chill today. Don't be, you know, trying to bait someone into an argument. And by the same token, don't let it happen. Walk away. Do not engage. That is my motto. And it is a very good one to live by you know to put down conflicts avoid confrontations they don't accomplish anything because very often you know once people engage in you know words of you know whatever you can't take them back once they're out they're out you know so keep that in mind I don't think that at this point see that's part of it okay what if your ex-wife wants to be combative today? That may be her nature all the time, but it doesn't have to be yours. You don't have to be a part of it. Like I said, take the high road. Don't become part of the battle. All it does is ruin your good day, okay? The, these kind of things, these kind of people, it's not necessary. It may feed their ego to come out on top in some way, shape, or form, but it doesn't you know, further your cause in any way. But what I'm thinking is, is that at this point in time, this is definitely the best course to take with whatever this situation is. Just let it go. Just let it go. Do not engage. Walk away 
and say, okay, fine, you win, whatever, you know, and knowing in reality that they haven't won anything, they're just left there by themselves. So it's a good, good lesson to learn and an excellent way to live. I want to thank you all very much for listening. Enjoy your Saturday. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.